and welcome to day three. Ooh, this is day four, isn't it? This is a review of Behind the Beautiful Forevers by Catherine Boo. This is a nonfiction novel that chronicles the lives of several citizens of a Mumbai undercity called Anawadi. This novel was also selected as this summer's read for the Nerd Fighter Book Club. John made a great video talking about the book and I'll link it in the description box below. Behind the Beautiful Forevers is one of those books where after you finish reading it, you sit in your room, you stare at the walls, you question everything about your life, and you want to give away everything you own. This is one of those books that is meant to ask more questions than it answers. You are meant to come away from the book having formed your own opinions. The author doesn't try to force anything onto you. She's actually asking you if you have any ideas about how to fix this poverty problem. I think this novel really explained to me how complex the issue of poverty is. It seems very straightforward, but it isn't. What's interesting, and John has brought this up in his video, is that most people living in Anawadi aren't technically living below the poverty line, but yet they're living in these little shack houses and scavenging off the side of the road and have trouble paying for their kids' medical bills. And so Poverty is different for every person, and this book definitely highlights that and makes it a lot easier to understand that. What's interesting is also the backward way that things work when you're living in poverty. Corruption is seen as a way out and often the charities we're donating to are doing little to nothing to help alleviate the problem of poverty. This really struck a chord with me, especially when they mentioned the charity organization World Vision. I've given to that charity for several years now. I've participated in events for that charity and hearing about how this World Vision worker came in and took a lot of these people's money, I can't remember the exact circumstances, but it was something like that. It's really horrifying. John brings up an excellent point in his video as well that it calls to light. Middle class people like us living in thriving countries can't hide behind charities any longer because now we can prove that sometimes they don't do anything at all. This book is also really complicated because it's not meant to provide a solution. It's meant to provide you with information. It's meant to inform you about the situation of poverty in Anawadi and in several slums around the world, most likely. It doesn't offer any solutions about how to change the way the world is working. It only gives you information, and you have to come up with the solutions for yourself which is empowering and also really frustrating because sometimes you just want someone to say this is what we need to do to help but that's not how life works unfortunately this book of course is very difficult to read it's very difficult to read about the lives of these people without feeling kind of hopeless and wondering how can we ever make the world any better we're moving forward every day and yet Cities like this still exist, and people are still living in these horrible conditions. But I think this book is also hopeful in a sense because it pushes you into action. Almost shocks you into action. Not in a gory, grotesque sense, but with an air of, this is what's happening right now, this is urgent, and we need to do something to change it right now. We need to make these people's lives better. Often, I got lost in a lot of the technical language. I found myself having to reread passages a couple times over before I really understood them, and some passages I never really fully grasped at all. I think this is a book that definitely deserves a reread, because while you can absorb a lot of information the first time, you really need to read it two, maybe three times to fully pull out the entire message of the book and understand all of the facts and figures and the way poverty works and the way that Anawadi works. This is a very heavy read, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. It really made me more aware of the world. It made me feel like more of a world citizen, and it made me want to do something that has more of an impact. I will be rereading it in the future. I'll probably put it aside for a while so I can let my current thoughts kind of dissipate and then come to it with fresh eyes and see if I'm able to understand it better the second time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow with another review.